I'm going to do the quickest haul I can today because I only have a few hours before I actually have to leave. But I went to Westfield today and I thought I'd do this and it probably won't be edited. So there might be a bit of arming and erring and stuff but we're just going to see what happens. I went to Mac today. I went to Westfield Mac because I knew that Liberty of London collection was coming out. It's called Mac Give Me Liberty of London. And I've seen hauls on this from some of the American gurus that I watch and I've seen pictures of the collection and I absolutely loved it. The packaging is super gorgeous. So I went today and I picked up three items. Surprisingly none of them are eyeshadows and I'm really proud of that because I would normally have bought like at least two of them. Um, so I'm really pleased that I didn't today. Um, right. I keep humming, see? <sighs> So I got three items, I got one lipstick, this is the packaging, how beautiful, if you can see it says, it says Liberty of London and MAC in shiny silvery stuff, and then like this black and white colours, and there's a bit of colour on this bit, I don't really get it, and it's a sliding out thing, this is white which is cool, again it says, this is um, Amplified Cream Lipstick from MAC. And then inside the packaging, I don't know if you can see that, it's got these flowers in them, really pretty, gorgeous. So this one is blooming lovely. This one is funny because I'm sure when I went on the American Mac website it had blooming with an apostrophe instead of the G, like you would with any normal English word, but um, this one actually has the G, so, but there we go, it's a pretty lipstick. Again, the packaging inside is absolutely gorgeous, and there's a back to Mac on it, but I thought they were stopping that, and seriously, who would want to send this packaging away? And seriously, who would want to send this packaging back? I will show you the packaging. It's gorgeous. It's white, but look, look at the prettiness. Do, 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 do. It's seriously as good as Hello Kitty. The only thing that isn't as good as Hello Kitty is they didn't have a flower imprint on the lipstick. What's that about? They should do that with all their collections now. I love the white and it looks similar to a normal MAC lipstick. If I just get my normal MAC lipstick. I'm wearing this one today actually. It's cream cup. Yep, so that's the same. Ooh, same shape anyway. This is the colour of Bloomin' Lovely. If you can see that, the lighting in here is terrible. People keep saying I look tanned, and it's nice, but um, it's just my lighting, it's horrible. So let's just swatch this. Ugh. That's the colour. Oh, gorgeous. I want to wear it now, but I'm not going to because I still have MAC on my lips and Dazzle Glass, and that will take a while to come off. Um, so yeah, this is Bloomin' Lovely. Don't we love it? Let's close this packaging back up. Put it back in the right way. Then I got two lip glosses. You've got that same packaging, so it says Liberty of London and MAC with the silver writing. And then you've got the same sort of design thing. Oh, they're birds! <laughs> Why didn't I see that? Birds and flowers. I'm such an idiot because it's on the actual lipstick that we just saw. Oh, stupid thing. So this one is Perennial High Shine. Probably can't read that. High Style, even. Perennial High Style. Again, with the flowers on the inside. Pretty! This, this is already four minutes long. What? Better be quick. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. Pretty! Let's do a bit of a swatch. There. Oh, that would look so gorgeous on the lips alone. Don't even need a lipstick underneath it. Oh. And then the last lip gloss, same packaging, blah blah blah, same on the inside. This one is called English Accents. And let me open this one up. And it's this gorgeous colour. This is going to go over the top of that um, Bloomin' Lovely lipstick because it's pretty. They have doe fat applicators by the way, doe feet. So it was it English, this is English Accents, the top one, and then that's Perennial High Style. I really love these colours, they're so pretty, and lips. 
They've got that same smell that MAC lip glosses all have, that vanilla-y smell. Seriously, what's going on with this bit of fringe? Seriously? Hey, <laughs> that's it. That's all I got from MAC, but I did go to Lush as well, and I bought a Hippie Chick Ballistic. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to use this, but I thought it was really cute, the shape, and it was £1.85 in the store, and it smells really good, so I thought I'd put it in with my clothes, because I really like the smell that it gives my clothes. Um, Lush products. Anyway, I picked the most perfect one that I could. And look how cute it is. Oh, has a little orange beak. And you can smell it. It's really fresh and I think it's supposed to smell like grapefruit. So it's got that citrusy smell but it's really fresh and it'd be great for like scenting your underwear or anything. So I think that's, mine's going to probably go in my sock. The guys in um, the Lush in Westfield are really sweet. Um, ah, I just got my hair stuck in the lip gloss. Um, right. Oh, look. Look at all that crap that I just got all over myself from that thing. Anyway, I also went to the body shop. I didn't purchase anything, but I got two samples. So I got mango body scrub and the lemon body scrub because I wanted to try this because I saw it on the website and it smells really good. It smells like the mango body butter, but a bit more fruitier, if that makes any sense. Like less yogurty. Anyway, I really like body scrubs. And the lemon body scrub because it kind of smells like lemon meringue pie. And it also smells like sherbet lemons. And it also smells like lemon curd. So if you like any of those, that's what it looks like. Um, I would get yourself down to your body shop and try and ask for a sample. Because they are supposed to give you free samples if you ask for them. And um, they don't promote it very well. But you do not have to buy anything from body shop to get samples. Like, because I didn't today. And they're fine with it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um... <laughs> So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to Telford tonight, um, well in a few hours actually, we'll be on the bus there, on the mini bus, and then I'm going to stay in Telford for three days till Sunday evening. I've got a video to put up for Sunday evening so it's all ready to go so when I come back I'll just upload it straight and then Monday I'm leaving for Spain so I'll be there for a week in Salu so I won't be able to make any more videos in between now and after I come back from Spain so yep um, wish us luck for our cheerleading competition um, uh, this is the uh, feeling I need to like not stop and waste the memory um, right so yeah and then after Spain I'll be back and I'll have a couple of weeks to you know take a break out from my studies and actually do a few videos and I will be doing a skincare routine I accidentally deleted the raw file video that I had before which is really annoying because now I have to refilm it and I also filmed a really nice tutorial that was requested and now I'm gonna forget what I used but I'm gonna try and recreate that as well it's gonna be fine and you're gonna have a lot of videos coming up soon so I hope you stay tuned and yeah Thanks for watching guys, I hope you have a great weekend, I hope you have a great Easter, because it's Easter weekend, so happy Easter, um, and if you don't celebrate Easter, have good holidays if you've got holidays, I mean, or vacation, because that's what American people call it, um, and I know like half of you are American who watch me, so that's really cool, oh, I forgot to say, postcards, I got Mac postcards, because she was like, have them, so I was like, okay, and um, this is MAC Prep for Colour. I think it's um, Prep and Prime again because there was, I was reading it on the bus. It's really glossy. The print is glossy. Um, and it's like Prep and Prime brightening skin and stuff like that. So I think they may be relaunching Prep and Prime stuff or maybe just promoting the brightening serum. Skin brightening serum. But whatever. This is the postcard for the Liberty of London. Give me Liberty of London. It's really cool. 
the flap. Ooh, ooh. And the back is that print on the boxes. And then inside, this is what it looks like. It's really long. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually have a spare one. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll do it as a giveaway on my Twitter. So yeah, follow me on Twitter. Um, links in the sidebar. I also have a Tumblr, which I obviously won't be updating. Um, with Twitter, I will be updating over the weekend. And also... Um... What am I talking about? Also, I have a blog, but I obviously won't be updating that as well. Um, links are all in the sidebar, so check them out. Okay, bye.